suiting up. Yeah. What are those again? Cascadia 12. Brooks? Yeah. Oh, you still have your seat. Oh, do we? With, yep. with the dice and everything? Yep. <laughs> Look at Bryce's gators. Don't make fun of my gators. From where I'm standing, you look pretty funny. Uh, they're sweet. Moms look way cooler though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they are like moms. Those they are like sweet. Them. Actually, down here, we haven't hit the spur trail yet. <laughs> You guys ready to go? Yeah. yeah. All right. Ready to see some ponies? Yes. What if we don't see any ponies? Yeah. I'm gonna be bad. Hey guys, back out here on another backpacking adventure. Got the whole family with me this time, my wife and the two kids. It's actually going to be their like first real backpacking trip. It's a three-day, two-nighter. Well, kind of three-day, but I'll get into that in a second. The only thing they've ever done was Zaleski. Uh, we did an overnight th overnighter there a couple years ago when it was like 90 degrees. It was terrible. Here's a little recap. Actually, I'm a little dark. Let me turn that up. <clears throat> So the uh, plan for this trip is to do a 12 mile loop, nothing too crazy. We actually got here last night at 11.30. We got on the trail at midnight, but it's what we had to do uh, due to school and work. We hiked for three miles to the Wise Shelter area. We set up our tents there and camped. Um, we didn't get to bed till like two o'clock in the morning, but that was an hour of hiking, hour of camp time. Didn't start a fire or nothing, obviously. Uh, now we're gonna hike a good, good majority of the mileage of the 12 today. We're gonna get up really early in the morning tomorrow and get out because we got to be out of here by like 10 or 11. Uh, there's a good bit of rain in the forecast for this weekend um, depending on where you looked it was either like a 70 or 100 percent chance of rain it poured pretty good last night for about an hour or two but it wasn't until we were already all set up and in, in bed the skies are looking pretty overcast today so we're expecting to get dumped on here a little bit like i said we're not doing a whole lot of mileage so we're just gonna take it easy and uh hopefully get to camp with some good amount of time tonight to hang out and hopefully get set up uh, at some point when it's not raining. Fingers crossed that it stays dry today and still looking for them ponies. It's going to be a little big on that pack. It's not for that one, but it'll work. Starting to sprinkle a little bit, so we're stopping, getting some food, and uh, putting the pack covers on because it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Just want to be safe. You can see the, the fog just started rolling in here. It's getting thicker by the minute. It's really cool. Yeah, we're going to eat. We've gone about a mile and a half. We're just taking our time, which, by the way, I'll tell you the trails we're doing. We started off at, uh, what was that? Where did we start? Massey Gap. And we hit the Appalachian Trail, the Appalachian Spur Trail, to the AT northbound. We stayed at uh, the Wise Shelter last night. Did I already talk about this? I think I did. I feel like you did when we first started. Oh well, I'll use the whatever one's better. But we're gonna take the AT to Pine Mountain, down to the AT again, hit the AT northbound again, 
that'll probably be tomorrow and hit the spur trail back to the car so about a 12 mile loop does that fit that's a that's for a really small backpack yeah cool it's nice and snug even though we can't see the views you can kind of make out where they are and they are better than I thought they would be. This is kind of like a, feels like a ramped up version of Dolly Sods, like better open vistas, not as overgrown, not as muddy. And again, I don't know a trail that is as muddy as, as that. These views are awesome. We can see more of them, but it's all right. I've seen a lot of pony sign, no ponies. Seen some cow poop and cow, cow tracks back there too, so. I guess there's steers up here also. Utter, utter, utter. Quit looking at his boobs, man. <laughs> I like that one too, the brown one. Had no idea there were cows up here until we sold cow poop and cow tracks. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube of this place, and it's really hard to capture, you know, good views on camera, but it is exceeding my expectations by a lot. This place is really, really cool. We're already talking about coming back here whenever it's not rainy and taking advantage of the full open vistas. Five and a half miles to Massey Gap, so that's how far we've gone total on this trip so far. That means about two or three today, maybe two, two and a half. But now we're coming up on this intersection. There's a little kiosk there, and it looks like there might be a bathroom over there. But we're thinking this might be where Pine Mountain Trail intersects with the AT. Might be a little bit further, but we'll see. Well, it's downpouring now. It has been for a while. It's starting to get pretty rough. We got probably another half mile up this climb on the AT till we hit the uh, Pine Mountain Trail. And Pine Mountain Trail is only like a mo uh, 1.9 miles. It looks longer on the map, but we're gonna just go as far as we can on that today. Maybe try to find a good spot there to set up camp. If it's like just crazy downpouring the rest of the day we might just walk out today we're we're not really sure but if if we get up there and it calms down a good bit and we're in good position to have a two or three mile hike out tomorrow we'll camp but we got to be out of here early tomorrow i got to be at the dog kennel at, by 5 30 and it's a five and a half hour drive home we'll see hopefully the rain stops we find an epic campsite and it'll turn this turn this trip around for us right now. Thank God we found a damn pony. Look, there's a baby. There's a baby right there. The, the white ones on the other side of the bush. That means if you're walking this way, scales is where we came from. If you're walking this way. So we've gone one mile on this trail already. Yep. So we're halfway. Oh, it's getting wet. Oh, I'd say it's getting wet. What is? Yeah. All right. So we're right here, and we go to Rhododendron Gap, hit the AT, and have to go all the way down to here. Yeah. Nice job. Some decent rock scrambles up here at the end of Pine Mountain Trail. Which it feels like we should have ended it a long time ago. Still no views. Pretty difficult rock scrambles in the rain for people under five foot tall. So that's Appalachian Trail South. 
And there are white blazes right here. I was about ready to get my phone out and hook up the GPS. Yeah. Dude, that took us like, like probably 45 to 50 minutes to go one mile. Well, it was because of those rock scrambles. Still though, I mean, there were sections we were moving. Okay, okay. Really? Yep. Okay. Right, two miles. Right. Well, everybody's pretty much set on getting out of here today, which I don't blame them. Um, Way better than we than I did when everyone started. So I you want to like camp crap. out another night? <laughs> I feel like crap. <laughs> now that I'm not up for this, I'm serious. Whoa! Get out there. Oh, here's your view. But too bad you can't see it. finally out for the first time of the day and it's not raining which is great I don't know why I brought sunglasses I think I didn't really mean to I just always forget they're on my head when I leave so I've been lugging around all day but I get to use them now so that's cool but we've been booking miles in the rain trying to trying to get out of here today so that's what what everybody really seems to want to do we only got like a mile and a half to go so we're just gonna go ahead and hike out to the car and Maybe go get some good food or something, but pretty good trip. I mean, this area that we're in right now is amazing. Well, we're back here at the junction of uh, Rhododendron Gap. Is that right? Or is this the there spur? Is. Rhododendron and Rhododendron Gap are two different things. There's our thing on the sign there. Okay, well, we're at whatever trail takes you back to Massey Gap. Uh, this is the way we went last night. I uh, take Appalachian Trail North. Yeah, it uh, definitely looks a lot different here in the daylight, but it's cool to see it uh, for a second time with uh, light this time. But it was a great trip though. The girls all did good. And it takes a special kind of woman to uh, come out here and do this, especially in the rain all day long. And I got three of them, so pretty lucky. <laughs> but yeah, that'll do it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. And until next time, we'll see you later. Good enough. Give them a smack in the butt, they like that. This one needs a haircut. Hi <laughs> buddy. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> you just like almost walked right into me. You can't see a thing, can you? Someone's gotta trim your mane. <laughs> Faster than you've ever gone Hurry. before. Never leave a man behind. <laughs>